Hello folks, so in this video I'm going to continue working on Space Invaders in Pygame. I'll run the code from last time just to show you how far I got. So you can see I've got the spaceship and the aliens, they shoot and I can take damage from that and then I can shoot back and also destroy the aliens. So quite a lot of the functionality is already built in now, it's, it's starting to really come together. There's still a few things I'd like to add in just to kind of polish the game a little bit. So the next thing is you can see whenever I hit one of the aliens, they just kind of pop off the screen. Uh, it's a bit anticlimactic. So what I want to add is an explosion animation. And that's not actually that difficult to do. I'm going to add it just down here where I've got all of my other sprite classes. I'll add a comment to say create explosion class. And this is going to be another sprite class. So I'll just copy this initial code from one of the other ones because it's, it's really just repeated. Uh, over and over. So class explosion, I have an init function and for this one I have an x and a y argument but I also want to add in a size. This way I am able to change the size of the explosion that I call. So then I have this standard line and then after that I can start creating this animation. So an animation within, well you, in the context of these sprites anyway, is just a list of individual still pictures that you just cycle through quickly. So I can show you this folder where I've got my animations. Oh, sorry, my still images. I've got this overall sprite sheet, which has a whole uh, sequence of this explosion, but I've just picked five images out of there because I don't really need that full detail. So you can see I've named them e explosion exp12345. So I'm just going to load all of these five images into my sprite class. So if I'm loading five images, then I need to use a for loop. So for num in range uh, 1 to 6, because it's not going to be inclusive, uh, I just want to load images one by one. So for that, we call pygame.image.load. And now I want to just use one line to, if I go back again, all I want to do is change the number, and that's going to change the image that I'm loading. So I will use Python's format function here, and then I will say, the folder name is image, the file name is explosion, and then the number keeps increasing. So I will put num in here. So num is going to be whatever comes out of this for loop. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as it iterates. And lastly, dot .png. So this little line of code, it just saves me having to type out pygame.image.load five times for each of my images. This just iterates through them, and it puts that num variable into here so it loads each image sequentially. So once the images are loaded I can start adding them to my list but before I do that if you remember I declared or I added a size argument into this. So before I actually do anything with these images I want to scale them based on the size. So if the size is actually I don't really need this comment it's going to be self-explanatory. So if size equals 1 then image equals pygame, and I'm just going to be scaling the images here. So I use pygame.transform.scale. The image I want to transform is the image I've just loaded, and then I supply the pixels that I want it to be. So I want it to be 20 by 20. So this one's going to be my smaller image. Now I do the same thing for my uh, medium or normal size explosion. So we transform this to, say, 40 by 40 and then I do the same thing again for my larger explosions and these ones I'm going to make pretty big I'll go with 160 and 160 okay so now I've loaded in all the images and I've scaled them depending on the size that I need or rather I have loaded in one image individually and then I've scaled it so once I've loaded that image I can say add the image to the list so my list is, oh, I haven't created a list. Thought I had, okay. So as I said, these uh, this animation is just going to be a list of images. So first of all, I need to come up here and create that list. So self.images is going to be an empty list. So now I can say self.images.append and the image img. So once that's finished running, I'm going to end up with this self.images list and it's going to contain all five stages of that uh, explosion. 
So then I want to add a variable called self index and the index is going to track at which point or which index within that list I am at. So it's going to determine which image it's showing from the explosion. Then the next thing as with all these sprite classes is to declare the image itself. So this is going to be from my list at the index. So fairly straightforward there. And then lastly, I need to make a rectangle from that image. Then I have my rectangle centers, which are going to be on the X and the Y coordinates that I feed in. And I'm just going to add an additional variable called self.counter. I'm going to be using this to determine, or, or rather to control the speed at which this uh, animation happens. So that's my init declared. Now I can define my update function. So this is going to be quite a straightforward function. Basically, all I'm doing is going through these images and updating them one by one. So I'm going to be updating the self.image to the next image in this index. So I want to control the speed of that a little bit. And that's where I've got that self.counter variable up above. And I'm going to set an initial threshold. So this threshold is going to be my explosion speed, and I will set that to three to start with. And now I just want to update my explosion animation. So to do that, I increase the counter by one. So what I want to happen is that once my counter exceeds this explosion speed variable, it's almost like a, a threshold rather than a speed. So once it exceeds that value, I want it to flip to the next image in the list. So essentially just update to the next frame of the animation. So I can say here, if self.counter is greater or equals to the explosion speed, then first of all, reset the counter back to zero, update the index by one and update the image. So self.image becomes the image from the list of images at the index point, which you note has just been updated by one. There is a potential error here, which is that I'm going to exceed my uh, images list if I just keep adding to the index. So I want to add an extra check in here. So there's going to be and self.index is less than the length of that images list minus one. So that means that I can never actually exceed that list if, uh, as long as there's still one more point within the list to go to, only then will I increase the index. So that's almost there. The only thing to add now is this animation needs to have an endpoint. So I'm going to keep going through the index and when I eventually get to the last one, I'm just going to have this last frame shown on the screen. And I don't really want that. I want the explosion to finish and then disappear. So if the animation is complete, delete explosion. So all I'm looking for here is if I have exceeded, so if self index has is greater than or equals to the length of my images list minus one, and my uh, my counter has gone greater than or equals to the explosion speed, so you notice this is more or less the same variable, uh, the same check as up here, with the only difference being that here I'm continuing to increase the counter as long as my index is less than the number of images. But here I'm saying as soon as I've reached the end of that list and my counter has come to a point where it needs to go to the next, uh, well, the next point, that means that the animation is fully complete. So self.kill and now we'll delete the explosion. So that should be it. That's my explosion class complete. And like with all the other ones, I need to create a group for it. So explosion group equals pygame.sprite.group. Pygame and then I need to always call the draw and update functions. So let's come down here and I'll say explosion group.update and explosion group dot draw and the display is my screen. So that's everything coded in. However, I'm not actually creating any instances of these explosions and adding them to the explosion group. So this is going to happen anytime there's a certain 
event, and the event itself is a collision between the bullets and either the aliens or the spaceship. So to do that, I'm going to add this additional functionality or these events within my bullet classes themselves. So where I've got my current update for my bullet, all I'm looking for at the moment is this collision with the alien group. And as soon as that happens, I have my do kill argument set to true, meaning that the alien gets destroyed and the bullet also gets destroyed. So now in here, I just want to create an explosion. So my explosion equals the explosion class. And remember that took an X and a Y variable first of all. So self.rect center X, self.rect center Y. So basically just put it in the same point as the bullet was when it collided. And now I want to give it a size. This is going to be my mid-size explosions. So I'm going to use two. So the instance is created, but remember I need to add it to the group. So explosion group dot add the explosion. And now let's just copy this because I'm going to use this exact same code in my alien bullets class down here. So at the moment I've got this collision up here. I do not destroy the spaceship. I destroy the alien bullet and I take one health off the spaceship. So let's just add that same code in here. Just paste that down. Explosion is going to be an explosion class. Self, well, it'll be the same positions as the alien bullet now. But these explosions are going to be tiny. So I'm going to go with the smaller size of one. And then we add it to the group. And that should be both of these added in. So let's just double check that I haven't missed anything. So I've got my spaceship and got the health bar. Okay, I'll, I'll just run the code, see if that's worked fire some bullets and there you go you can see the explosions coming up anytime i hit one of the aliens and if i get hit there's a smaller explosion on the spaceship excellent so that's working fine so the only one i think left to add is on the spaceship when it gets blown up so at the moment the spaceship doesn't actually uh, die it, it loses its health and then just seems to keep going so i've got code here that uh, draws my health bar so as long as my health remaining is above zero, I continue drawing the health bar, but I'll add a little elif in here. If my health remaining has is less than or equals to zero, then the spaceship is dead. So I should have another explosion. This explosion is going to happen again at the center X and center Y of the spaceship. And I'm going to go for the big explosion here and add the explosion to the group. And yeah, I suppose lastly, I can destroy the spaceship. So I hope this doesn't throw an error when it dies, but let's try it. So I can blow up the aliens and I'll just take some damage. So a small explosion, oops, small explosion and big explosion. Okay, <laughs> something funny is going on there, but I guess it's because I'm not actually uh, ending the game. In reality, I should be at this point uh, stopping the loop and kind of giving the player an option to restart or or quit the game. But I'm going to add all that functionality in a future video. So if you guys found this video useful, then please do leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with these tutorials, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.